Hey guys, Chaos Master 237 here, back for more Final Fantasy 16, continuing where we last left off in regards to the side quests. Let's get right back in them, shall we? There we go, that, the goblins camp. Okay, so that's what it was. I think we found our thieves. Sorry if you guys heard a little any whining. I have a dog in here that wants to go, be, that wants to be with, uh, well, not in the same room as me because I'm the only one who can watch him at this point, at this point in time. So yeah, you're gonna hear a bit of, you might hear a bit of whining every now and then, just because he wants to get out of the room, but I'm afraid he can't. So yeah. Anyway, yeah, back to the fight. To see me. Oh, this guy isn't is not being greatly affected by our attacks. There we go. Eat a judgment bolt. Thunderstorm. Yep. Only four. That's pathetic. Let's get this over with. Yep. Stop. What? Don't kill him. He's just protecting his home. Joseph? So the boy was right. I don't know you. Your porter friend sent me to find you. She was worried you might have got yourself killed. Have I been gone that long? It wasn't hard finding the thieves. The problem was knowing what to do with them when I did. I take it things are more complicated than they appear. Yeah, I'm curious. I'd all but ruled out bandits before I even left the market. You know what that is? Because our thieves had no interest in gold or gems or anything they couldn't eat for that matter. Add to that the rumors of goblins in the area and the mystery practically solved itself. I soon found their cozy little homestead and all the missing food. I launched myself at them full of righteous fury, but... The leader was the only one who moved to meet me. The others, they huddled around that food, ready to die protecting it. They stole because it was that or starvation. I've been there myself, back when times were hard. Mm. So you spared them, and earned their trust into the bargain by the look of it. These goblins aren't native to the area. They don't know how to survive such barren lands, so... I've been teaching them. Wow. Once they've learned to hunt and forage, they won't be fool enough to risk their necks in Boglad. I'm impressed. I didn't know goblins could be reasoned with. Do me a favor. Let the porter know I'm safe. I'll head back to the market once my work here is done. Oh, and don't mention the goblins. I don't want people coming here brandishing pitchforks. Not now this lot have sworn off thieving. Your secret's safe with me. I appreciate it. Thank you. That's, uh, weird. To say the least. I'd always thought of goblins as mindless savages. But if I'm honest, I like them better than half the men I've served with. <laughs> 
Okay, so we can report the quest, but before we do that, we're going to go straight into the other side quest. Which is the one with the ar- which was the one with that, uh, that architect guy, the researcher. Yeah, the reason I, I said, uh, is because, like, I honestly, it's honestly been a, a few days since I last recorded, believe it or not. By the time you guys have seen this, all the other episodes have already, of everything else have already been uploaded, of my other Let's Plays have already been uploaded. And here we go again with the goblins. <laughs> not again. All right, then. First? It don't matter, we're gonna aerial blast. And hey, why not? Let's do a thunderstorm. And then to top it off with a judgment bolt. Good job, Torgal. Uh, now we're talking. 36 billy points, let's go. You're to get yourself killed. Oh, that would not do. That would not do at all. Not when such majesty stretches out before us. Behold, a final sin in all its glory. As Moss tells us, a battle was fought here in ancient times. A battle of such ferocity that it tore a great crater in the very land upon which it was waged. In reaching for their holy sanctum did man enrage the gods, and great was the vengeance that was rained down upon him. Hmm. Alas, the full truth of the matter is lost to time, though I live in hope that I might see it discovered. But we must not dwell upon such things. There is more yet to see. Onward. History awaits. Stop, you idiot. Ah, uh, great. Exactly. This guy is a true moron. Oh great. Oh no. He's really got himself into trouble this time. Yeah he does. Oh jeez, I've been messing that up hard. There's a good boy. Ignition! Oops, I meant to do some else. Yeah, raging fist. Yeah, I won't even deny that I uh, butchered that raging fist at the end real bad. I won't deny that.
Mm. Hit the wrong button there. Sorry. Still in one piece. It would seem so. Once more, I am in your debt. And once more, you impress me with your prowess. These were no ordinary foes, but ones we in the field call Echoes. Though oh, Master now we bring the that up. concurs with the legends in attributing the fall of Zemeckis to a wrath wrought upon mankind by the gods, he offers little in the way of explanation. Could the ruins we see before us here, in all their elaborate beauty, perhaps suggest an answer? Could the construction of such miraculous edifices have been considered an encroachment upon the province of the divine? Alas, all is mere speculation. But one day, perhaps, I will learn the truth. Not if you keep running headfirst into trouble. Right? You are right, of course. And not only have you plucked me repeatedly from the jaws of death, you have proven yourself a willing audience to my rambling. Glad to help, but didn't you say you came here to investigate something? I fear I may have rather overstated the case on that front. In truth, a captive ear was all I really desired. You see, even my fellow scholars have grown somewhat weary of my musings of late. And so I came upon the idea of purchasing a companion. A captive audience, if you will. That's what this was all about. I am afraid so. And now, my good man, it is high time we returned whence we came. Fine. Just don't go running off this time. Yeah, I think he's gonna do it anyway. Is he taking me back to town? Awesome. It's a good thing I didn't run right back to town. And so ends a delightful day. Here, your reward for humoring my selfish whims, plus a little extra for the trouble I have put you to. Damn right, give us stuff. How much did we get? Teaching points, 200... 280 ability points. You know what? Yeah, I'll take it. Who needs Gil when I got that many ability points? Holy crap. 1,041. Yeah, if I could get just a bit more time, I would be able to max them out. The one, I, despite the numbers, I'm not going to lie, I would go with Judgment Bolt. I mean, that's a really good ability. I'd go with Judgment Bolt and be maxed out. Let me carry your goods. I'm cheap. And I probably will be doing that. Wait, what? No, okay, for some reason I thought that was like a blue quest icon, and I'm like, what? Joseph's fine. He'll be back once he's tied up a few loose ends. <sighs> That's a weight off my shoulders. He certainly knows his business. He found your thieves all right. And I dare say they won't be coming back. A good man to have around, that Joseph. And if he says there'll be no more thieving, that's good enough for me. Thank you for putting my mind at ease. Here, for your troubles. Thank you. Is it a bunch of ability points again? I'll take it. Come on, ability points. Nope. Eh, I guess I can take the go. But the experience is good. Level 42! Alright, now the side quests are all done. Or maybe they're not. Why don't we take a look at the... Let's go to the hideaway. You know, and to recharge our HP. You know. And we're also going to take a look at the little... The counter there, and we'll find out. Is that the thing Tomes helped to build? Mid told me she was building a ship. There's probably nothing here. Dive. Here you go. 
Yep, I thought so. I don't really know if I could hold off on doing a quest and then go back to it another time and that'll be there. I'll probably experiment on that. I'll create a separate save file just to be, sh just to be, you know, safe. No pun intended. And see if maybe that could be the case. You know, maybe it's possible. All right, I don't know what. Oh, right, the weapon. Yep, the ancient sword. Yet it is nowhere near as good as Excalibur. Hmm. You got anything for me here, Great. sir? What you want? Those aren't gonna help. Anything else? Nope. All good there. The crystal too? You joking? Ah, dang it. I, sorry about the yawn. In case you heard it was a yawn. I'm trying to also get the skunk out of my eyes. Alright. I trust you and your party gained the, dom the dominion with, gained the dominion without further event. Should your travels ever bring you back to the markets and put you in need of additional assistance, you will find the Crimson Car Caravans more than happy to oblige. We might even offer a discount on our usual rates. Yeah, okay. If only if only the discounts actually you know, actually mattered. Oh, I can level him up, so let's do that since we're here. You know, since we are here, may as well. Something I might assist you with, Clark? Yes, here. Taking the info. Oh, I got a trophy. The more you know. You will find them. Yeah, you helped him reach a level knowledge level of five. You wish to study the tomes? Cool. Did you didn't know that was a trophy? I didn't look through the whole list of trophies, and even if I did, I'm not gonna remember it all. You know, I'm not going to remember a whole list of the trophies. And I'm not going to try to have it all be on the side either. And by the side, I mean having some like a cell phone or a tablet or something pull up. You know, that's, let me see the trophy list. I mean, I'm not going to do that. to Ellen, Theo, too. So should you, Hansa. You and your friends don't have to steal anymore. If anyone threatens you again, you know who to turn to. We do. And we already have. Ms. Ell's given us a job shifting the chocobo shit out of the stables. <laughs> it's hard work, and the pay isn't half what we got from the stones. But if we stick at it, we'll keep ourselves fit. <laughs> you stick at it, then. And Goots, I'm sorry for stealing your pass. That's all right. I've got it back now. And all's well that ends well, eh? You said you're trained to be a blacksmith, right? Well, I'm going to be your first customer. I'm going to save up all my gear and get you to make me a massive sword. I'll, I'll do me best. 
Till then, eh? Goots wants to be a blacksmith? Huh. I didn't see that coming. Oh, animated. All right. We have a place on the wagon. Remember, Goots, we're mercenaries. You hide us to protect you. But mercenaries. <laughs> and you remember the plan? You're to ride all the way to Twinside. Jill and I will go with you as far as the outskirts, then find our own way in. I'll buy that stuff I need. Right. And we'll scout out the Imperials' defences. There's a square with a big bell tower right in the middle of town. If you get lost, or out goes wrong, we can meet up there. All right. Let's go. <laughs> Togo was like, I just got comfy there, man. Certain your father has no knowledge of Ultima. I am. I have no difficulty believing a sinister force has come to exert an influence on Sambrek. But be that as it may, it is yet to claim my father. For better or worse, his radiance speaks his own mind. Then the fiend works from the shadows. I confess. When first you told me of this fiend, I had my doubts, and more than a few at that. A beast that labors to plunge Valisthea into turmoil, all in pursuit of your brother. But that wound is proof enough that evil is afoot. Then I have your answer, your highness. You will join me in my fight. I cannot. Not yet. Your Highness, please. As you are aware, the Dalmekian army is at our gates. They have lost their mother crystal, and with it all hope of a negotiated withdrawal. It is but a matter of time before they invade. If Bahamut is not here to meet them, my people will be slaughtered. Though not by Hugo Kupka, thanks to Ultima's machinations. I know the fate of your people weighs heavy on your conscience, but if we do not put an end to Ultima's plans, they shall face a far darker fate. The chaos he would wreak would sweep all of Valisthea into the abyss. The lives of every man, woman, and child in the Twins are at stake. I believe what you say, Phoenix. I have duties of my own, and I must discharge them. Come what may. Yeah, it is difficult to really. What do oh, you know here we of go. my blood? No, where we cut off. Where it was cut off. I know that it is wholly unworthy of the highest offices of state, which rightly belong to those of purer breeding. Alas. Your bloodline runs through the Oriflam gutter, from a whore who weighed her child's worth in gill. Have you threatened my father? <laughs> of course not. I merely whispered in his ear. That his mongrel son is plotting a rebellion. What? Sylvester listens to the words of his astrologers. And they have ears too. You have been feeding them your lies! Should you remain loyal to Emperor Olivier, 
His radiance may yet crown your head with laurel, and not with tar. Fork-tongued witch! <laughs> In consideration of your long years of service to the Empire, I shall forgive this uncharacteristic rudeness. Pray up, Joshua, please. Now hurry and make ready, your Imperial Highness. Ah, uh, whatever. Emperor Olivier expects much of you, Dion. Or should I say, of Bahamut. May your fire reduce his enemies to ash. Till all of Valisthea bows to its rightful ruler. There is another darkness that has taken hold of Sandbrack. And until its grip is released, the flames of war shall spread ever wider, just as Ultima wishes. Forgive me. My family has caused you much grief. You are not her keeper, Phoenix. This is a matter for the Imperial household now, and as a member of that household, it falls to me to resolve it. Such time as that is done, what strength I have shall be yours. Thank you, Your Highness. Mm. I mean, they are stepbrothers. Let's take to the skies together and bring a new dawn to Valisthea. I should like nothing more. Even though they probably don't want to admit it. To acknowledge it at the very least. I mean, I personally wouldn't if I was either of them. When you consider the mother and all of that. Terence. My prince. Tell me true. Do you believe what I'm about to do is wrong? I... We Dragoons have but one leader, Your Highness. And we shall follow him unto the very end. Thank you. Oh shit, here we go. And this is my decree. For their crimes against the crown, the traitorous Annabella and her usurping son shall be put to death and the Empire restored. Oh, you should probably be very, very careful on that. I have a really bad feeling about this. I really do have a really bad, bad feeling about how this is going to play out. That's why, in my personal opinion, if you're going to do a confrontation, please bring Joshua with you in this confrontation. Please. I would love to see her reaction to Joshua being alive and standing up to his own mother. I would love that very much. One would never guess that these people stood on the brink of war. True enough. When they're afraid. They turn to drink to forget their fears. Anything you want to forget? The death of, of his father, for one. The I mean, I would... empty. And half the market stores, too. Ain't City knowing all that other shit. On the surface, but it's balanced on a knife edge. Yeah, it is. I wouldn't say the death of his father, just the pain of it all. Were we to give it a nudge, it might be just the distraction we need to reach the Mother Crystal. I thought you might say that. We should send for Gav. We'll need someone to keep the fires we start from going out. And we can busy ourselves scheming until he gets here. I'll send a stolas then.
Shit's about to go down. Yep. What is it, boy? <laughs> what? What is it? Okay, so someone started some fires. This can't be what Dion was thinking of. Yeah, no, this is definitely not Dion's intention. Oh, great, it's her. Yeah, girl, you better run. What's happening? I don't know. Toggle. Holy shit, that wolf can jump. Like, I know we saw him jump very high before, but holy shit, Torgal can jump. Sign Torgal up for a basketball team, dudes. Like, holy crap. See, he did it again. I mean, Grant, we don't, we haven't seen the height of it. Yeah, what exactly is going on? Fire in the sky. Smoke on the water. I'm sorry. He'll be making for the square. The one with the bell tower. In the middle of town, right? As soon as I saw fire in the sky, I was immediately thought of the lyrics for smoke on the water. Oh wait, wait, what was that? Oh, uh, I thought that was a treasure chest for a second there. Hmm. Yeah, we fought an Imperial Dragoon before. Oh wait, ah, nuts. Okay, so. Oh, well, there is a treasure. There is a chest. Wait, why is there a chest all the way out here? Is this supposed to... Oh, well, then again, this is like a resident area. So I guess it makes sense that they have something like that, but I don't know. What in the hell is going on? Let's go and see. Right. And then again, they did, they did just, they, we were told of their orders, so I guess it makes sense that they have to do that. But still, I didn't just think he would do that. You know, like that there, I guess, maybe to isolate the citizens? Well, what the? <sighs> do we have to? Ah. Yeah, that won't attract attention. Torgal's uh still not full. Okay. Oh wait, that reminds me. Okay, I wasn't certain if I did take that off. Mm, excuse me, I had to burp there. Uh, let's give it a thunderstorm for you guessed it, heat wave. I just feel like we're gonna get that. 
I just feel like we're gonna counter magic users. I mean, it would, I mean, it makes sense. We're dealing with ordinary people. I mean, again, then again, there's a lot of enemies that have magic, so I guess it don't matter. Eat a judgment bowl. Oh, that's a way. That is a way I could do it if I wanted to. And what I was trying to get at was, um, like if I chose to not have, like if Jill wasn't in the party, for example, or if Jill was fighting one of the these regular enemies instead of the healer, then oh great. Then I could, you know, take advantage of that, of them healing the enemy, healing their their friends and everything, and allowing me to get more um, prestige points for Torgal. You know what I mean? I was close is because uh, there's a trophy to get that that uh, to deal 50,000 damage to an enemy when they are, you know, stunned. When they're, you know, when that got when that bottom bar is uh, empty and they have to recharge. But I'm just not strong enough yet. Probably. And who knows, I might be able to get the ability points up to where I can get Judgment Bolt maxed out before we face, you know, Bahamut. As I am 100% positive at this point, we are gonna get Bahamut's power. There's... Never thought I'd be glad to fall into a sewer. Right? There's no way that we won't actually get Bahamut's power. And oh my gosh, this enemy is so weak! You lot are under-leveled to me. Wonder what that was about. Like, we went from level 30 enemy- 28 to 30 enemies in the desert to level 22 crabs in a sewer. Ward secured, Cap. None of the Emperor's forces remain. Then gather the men. We press on to the- Yes, Captain. Okay. Thank you for the potion. What are the men and women in the market? There we go. The evacuation is complete, Captain. Good. Then all that remains is the throne of the tender. Oh, what's happening there it now? Is. The bell tower. Right. Let's go. Let's. Yep. Just wanted to make sure. Oceans again, that means we're gonna get a boss fight. Oh, hey. Ah, oh, a goods lift. <sighs> nice. I've always loved the lifts ever since Assassin's Creed did them. 
I, I, I've always expected it to just be we. Oh look, now we got. Now we're back to these enemies again. You know what? Eat a judgment bolt. Ah. Trying to just get my dog to there we go. He's laying down now. I just need to make sure make certain make certain that he would. <sighs> yep, potions again. Oh boy. I'm gonna need aerial blast for this one. Holy crap. Yeah, there's a lot, so definitely use aerial blast here. Why am I not surprised that they have wyverns in uh, the Empire? you know, under their control. Oh, great. Oh, great. And I don't have that ready yet. Nope. Oh, right, you big drat, big wyvern thing can eat that. Oops. I fuck. I messed it up. Oh, jeez. I guess it wasn't ready. I thought it was. Oh, now I got area blast ready. Okay. That was the weakest one yet. There we go. Oh, really? That was a bit of disappointment. There we go. Ooh, hello. 144 ability points. Let's go. <sighs> Anything else? Anything else I need to be aware of? Oh, there's so uh, there's some way to get up there. Oh wait, it's not plot oriented. It's not tied to the plot, is it? The plot. I want to make sure I said that. We'll have to find a way around. Okay, so it is tied to the plot. Okay. Still wish I had a dash commit dash option. Oh, treasure chest. Let me guess. Oh, okay. I thought it was just gonna be another accessory to boost, uh, you know, abilities again. I guess not. The reason I said again is because usually dungeons have them. Because you know, some dungeons have those. I know we get at least one almost every time. At least we, at least I have five memory serves me correctly. Every time we've gone through one. No. That 
I feel bad for these guys. Nice try. Like, if only they knew. If only they knew we were not really trying to fight them. Uh. Okay, it's getting really hectic up there. Hold on, kids. We're coming. Yeah, it's getting really hectic. Real fast. And we're gonna have to continue with trying to save Goots next time. I'm actually... I do have a bit more time, but I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you did enjoy this episode, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. All support is greatly appreciated. Next time, we will continue to try to go and find Goots, and who knows, maybe we actually will only be finding Goots, and we will just be moving forward to the Mother Crystal without any other problems. Uh, who am I kidding? That's going to be the case anyway. <laughs> We'll find out next time. Until then, laters!